It's an antiviral drug originally intended for Ebola, but has seen great promises in patients with COVID-19. It's called remdesivir, and officials with McKenzie Health in Richmond Hill say they've used it on one of their patients who saw great promise after being administered the drug. Heartwarming cheers after what was a grueling battle against COVID-19. Her oxygen level was decreasing and uh, her, her work of breathing or the effort that she needed uh, to put forth to just to breathe was was getting was getting worse and worse. A 69 year old woman was being treated in the ICU for seven weeks, but after being administered remdesivir, a failed Ebola drug, now she's able to breathe on her own. To the point now that she's actually out of the ICU, she's on our ward, uh, she's able to uh, to talk. Health officials at McKenzie Health received the experimental drug after making a case for a compassionate use to Health Canada. It was then shipped to Richmond Hill from the U.S. Overall, do you think that this is something that could work in helping treat COVID-19? Yeah, so, um, so it's hard to tell from our single experience uh, whether it's going to be helpful or not. One of the reasons that we chose to use this experimental treatment on our patient was the fact that uh, it's actually been around for a while and it did go through clinical trials already for Ebola. So even though it didn't work for that virus, we did have safety data. While it's unclear how much of a role the drug played in her progression, health officials say studies out of the U.S. show COVID-19 patients who took remdesivir recovered faster than patients who did not it looked like there may be a mortality improvement as well, meaning that less people died who got it uh, compared to people who didn't. Although that, that part of the study wasn't uh, statistically significant. But again, that data has yet to be actually um, published. Dr. Chan says while this is all good news, more clinical trials are needed to prove whether or not the drug is the answer healthcare providers are looking for. Really the, the scientific community has mobilized to, to look at this uh, virus in many different ways to, to, to try and find uh, something that can be helpful in, in treating our patients. In a statement to City News, Health Canada says remdesivir is still considered an experimental treatment for COVID-19. The most appropriate way to access experimental therapies that have potential to be helpful in treating COVID-19 is through clinical trial. To date, two clinical trials have been approved for remdesivir in the context of COVID-19 in Canada. Right now, the drug is being reserved for clinical trials worldwide. The results should be released in a few weeks. Melissa Nakavali, City News.